Okay guys, if something has a square root, it's equivalent to having an index of one half. If something has a cubed root, it's the equivalent of having an index of a third. If something has a fifth root, for example, it's the equivalent of having an index of one fifth. A sixth root is the equivalent of having the index of one sixth. Let's look at how we can apply this rule. If I've got the square root of 16p squared, I could write this as the square root of 16 times by the square root of p squared. I know that the square root of 16 is 4. And I'm going to times that. Let's go back up to here. If it's got a square root, it's the same as saying an index of a half. So instead of writing this square root sign, it's got an index of a half. So the square root sign here has been interchanged with an index of a half. So my p squared is still there. And instead of having the square root sign, we've changed it to an index of a half. Now look what we can do here. Index law 4 says power to a power, we times those. So 2 times a half is 1. So it's p to the power of 1. So in other words, the answer is 4p. Let's look at our next worked example. The square root, we can say it's the same as saying the square root of 8. Sorry, this should have a cube there. Not sure why that didn't come through. So the cubed root of 8j to the power of 6. So we could say this is the same as saying the cubed root of 8 and the cubed root of j to the power of 6. I know the cubed root of 8 is 2 because 2 times 2 times 2 gives me 8. With my j to the power of 6, so I'm going to write down my j to the power of 6, but I'm not going to write down my cube root. We saw above that the cube root is, same, is the same as saying to the power of a third. So instead of writing my cube root, I've written the power of a third. What I then do is say that's 2 times index law 4 says I times the indices. So I've got j to the 6th times a third. If I look at what I do there, 3 goes into that twice, 3 goes that into once. So it's 2 times by j squared, which is just 2j squared. So in summary, a square root is equivalent of an index of a half. A cube root is equivalent to the index of a third.